editing in Lightroom Mobile. This is my workflow. You guys requested this, so here it is. When do I use Lightroom Mobile over Lightroom Classic? Well, for me, I'll use Lightroom Classic for client shoots where there's a, like thousands of photos to go through and it needs to be super organized. But for a no normal shoot, if I'm going out for the podcast or YouTube video like this, or just felt like going out on the bike and getting photos, I typically always have a photo I want to edit right away because at the end of the long day, I'll be like, whew. That was a pretty exhausting day, but man, I really want to share this photo. Usually the shoot days will be very long. We'll be out there probably till the sun sets. And then at that point, we're ready to go back. But we like to look at the pictures sometimes. And I'm like, man, these pictures turned out really good. I want to share them right away. And if I'm out there shooting with a friend, I'll usually show them and they'll be like, yeah, man, those are pretty good. You should definitely put that on the Instagram. Then I'm like, yeah, I should totally do that. Let's head back so I can put them on the Instagram. I don't, this, this is such a dumb idea. Cause I don't have the B-roll shot yet, but I think this will be hilarious. <laughs> and then once we agree on those pictures being awesome, I head back to the apartment. First thing I do, import the photos into a folder. And I like to organize my photography by year and date and what I was doing that day. So for example, the Boyd Hill video from last week, I'll make a folder that says 2020 and under that folder, I put like 11, 17 or whatever date it was. And then once I make that album, I import the photos and then you'll see in the top right corner, there's like a cloud with a blue circle that starts spinning. That means it is syncing your photos to the cloud. Usually if it was a pretty long day and I know the photos will take a while to upload, I'll leave it uploading to the cloud, go take a shower, eat dinner, whatever. And then when I'm done with that, it should be fully loaded. When you open up the app, if it's your first time opening it, it'll probably walk you through some tutorials and make you sign in. So make sure you sign into the same Adobe account you did on your desktop. I don't like to be at my computer all the time. So this is nice. I can go out to my porch, put some headphones in, listen to music, make all the changes. It'll link back to the desktop. But the nice thing about this, I don't have to export it from the desktop, put it on a Google Drive. I can literally just hit save and it'll save straight to my phone. On this one, you hit the share icon in the top right and then you can just hit save to device. It prepares to export and then you just hit okay. Then you have your photo on the phone and you can upload it straight to Instagram. I hope that overview was helpful. There's plenty of other tutorials out there that go into in-depth stuff. If you made it this far into the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and all that. Thank you so much, man, for sending in the request for this video. Sorry, I don't don't know how to pronounce your name, but I appreciate it. If you have any questions, just DM me on Instagram. Um, I'll try and get back to you or I'll make a video about it. Being in a position to give advice now, hopefully some of it's helping you guys. I really enjoy creating these. So message me with any questions and I'll see you on the next video.